fire's angle on the bow now, zero. Down the boat? It's a bow shot. Hello, YouTube modeling community. This is Rick, and I have a preliminary final. I know that's an oxymoron, but it's a final on the uh, USS Cl Cleveland part of the um, deformed um, cartoon group build. And it's a preliminary on the uh, Ming uh, shipyard, uh, which uh, we're looking to maybe put together in a, uh, in a diorama. So uh, first, on the Cleveland, uh, it's uh, essentially complete. Uh, the um, float planes uh, are on there. Uh, those are actually little kits. Comes with the fuselage, the main float, and two um, wing uh, pontoons. Uh, I did not use the two wing pontoons. That was just too small and uh, not worth it for uh, doing this. Um, Likewise, they come they come molded and clear, so in theory you could put a little mask over the cockpit. But uh, again, that was just more than I wanted to do. But they do have uh, a one seven hundred scale uh, decals with the stars and bars and the wings, and we got those on. Um, the rest of it's painted up, uh, not in any particular um, authentic color scheme. Uh, I just kind of. Try to get some contrast. Um, I think the wood deck looks good on there, and uh, just the mixing of gray. And we got some some metals, some some gunmetal, and uh, and the like. But uh, it came out nice. Um, so uh, um, the um, next thing is we want to turn to the uh, to the shipyard. And just let me uh, move the. Cleveland out of the way and put this uh, more towards the uh, the center of the um, picture here. Um, I essentially have one building uh, almost completed, pretty much completed. I've got to try and do some detailing on the on the windows there. Uh, the others I've got mocked up. Um, uh, I can't decide whether I want to uh, arrange this. Uh, with the ship moored along the dock or uh, steaming into the dock. And uh, the last last bit on the Cleveland I have to do is the National Ensign. And that gets positioned depending upon whether she's moored or underway. Um, if she's underway, it gets um, thrown from uh, the, uh, the main mast. If uh, he, she's tied up in port, it gets flown from a uh, jack staff on the stern. So uh, we'll add that little detail uh, uh, in a little later. Um, so it's it's a matter now of finishing up the uh, uh, the other buildings there. Uh, I've ordered from a um, model railroad supply some uh, uh, simulated corrugated uh, roofing end scale which I'm gonna try and use on the, uh, on the red factory building at the end uh, to give it a little bit more interest. Um, I also, uh, from Shapeways, uh, got a uh, 1700 scale lighthouse uh, that, uh, let's this around, and that I think will add a little bit more to the diorama. I'm not, I've just been fiddling with, the, with how to place things around. Um, so, uh, I gotta, I gotta figure that, uh, figure that out. And so I'm just really deciding on colors and, and, uh, and details. I am, uh, looking at getting some, uh, some, making some, my own, uh, decals of, uh, war posters and, uh, various, uh, things, printing and, and uh, uh, the like, uh, for instance, labeling for uh, the blimp, the blimp that flies above the factory. So it comes with a decal that says, I think Zeppelin, uh, which we don't need. So 
we'll use uh, the markings that are uh, usually used on, or were used on uh, navy blimps. Uh, you just have to get them in the right size. Uh, we've got a, uh, a loose lip sink, sink ships poster, uh, a couple submarine recruiting posters, and a Rosie the Riveter poster. And I'm thinking about uh, taking those and, uh, well, at least one would go on the tank that's going to go up here. Uh, probably the loose lips sink ships poster. And then I might put a second poster down uh, in front of here or someplace on, uh, on one of the buildings in the side. So uh, that's kind of what we got planned. The, uh, the buy bonds... The buy will be on one um, smokestack and the bonds on the other one. So, um, and that's kind of where we are on this. Uh, it's coming along. Uh, a couple other things. Um, uh, is anybody planning to attend um, uh, Orlando's IMPS, uh, IPMS chapters uh, model Palooza in October? Uh, if they are, let me know. I'm planning to be up there for that and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing some people. Um, and uh, the, the other thing is I, I have been enjoying everybody's uh, responses to Craig's or, or Chris's um, uh, challenge on uh, how he got into modeling and I'll plan to do uh, my response to that uh, before the end of the weekend. Um, so I think that's just about it. Uh, I want to thank uh, Papa Dan and uh, Colonel Reb for uh, uh, putting on the, uh, the group build here. It's uh, been fun, fun to watch everybody's entries. Also like to thank uh, all my subscribers, uh, especially new ones. Uh, like to encourage anybody who's not subscribed to subscribe. And uh, that's, uh, that's about it. Thank you, and uh, we'll be talking to you.